Greetings and happy October. Retro Zoltan here. I wanted to start off this month of spooks and costumes by showing you a system that looks great, but it's really just a ruse. Uh, <clears throat> so let's talk about this interesting looking contraption that's called the G5 Game Player. It caught my attention on AliExpress, and it looked like a hand-painted Game Boy of sorts, only for a measly $7. It showed a bit of potential, and I'm a, kind of a sucker for these sort of things, so I bought it. It's not horrible to look at. It has several interesting colors, nice splash of paint, interesting choice of color. Um, at first glance, this thing looks pretty decent, right? Well, it's not. It sucks. And that's all I have to say about the G5 game player. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks. <laughs> Just kidding. So, but seriously, as soon as you pick this thing up, you hear a voice in your head that tells you you get what you paid for. But you get what you pay for, huh? So let's take a look. So here it is. Here's the G5 game player. It came literally in ship in like a shipping bubble wrap in this stuff in an envelope. There was no box whatsoever. Um, the typical directions. Nothing interesting here other than just labeling what the buttons do. Um, that's about it, because there's really not much more to it. Charging cable, which is the micro USB, and the TV out, which I don't normally use. I get suspicious when a system comes with the TV out, because it's usually not a great system, and they just throw this in as a, to make it a little more appetizing. Here's the player itself. So, as you can see, it's just, it feels... The front, I guess the front plate is fine. The front... Um, it feels like a good plastic, at least at least the top part does. The rest of it, this blue, is like a very cheap plastic. I can't explain it. It just feels cheap. It's just, ah, I can't explain it. So the blue, I guess the blue is like a recycled plastic or something. It's I can't think of what it was recycled from. You can tell it just it's just cheap. So you have the D-pad, which is really weird. It doesn't, it's, it's, it's just not good. It's not... Control is not as good as you want it to be. I guess the start and select is fine, and reset is fine. Um, these buttons feel cheap. They're small. They're weird, but they're there. And your on-off switch, your charging port, and your TV app. There's a volume knob, which is tiny. It's there. You can't really use your... Unless you have small fingers, you can't really use it. So you have to kind of use your nail. There's little grooves in it, fortunately. And that's it for this thing. There's really nothing else. So let's turn it off. So the dreaded English Chinese menu, whenever whenever I see that, I know it's going to be a whatever in one, like 500 games in one. I knew that already, but so if we pick the English, it's 500 in one. Usually these are a mix of um, good games and bad games, mostly bad games. Um, some legit ones like Contra, Super Contra, Jackal. These are good to see. Super Mario's buried in here somewhere. And then you get like some crappy ones. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you like five good games and five bad games. And you can decide whether the bad games outweigh the good ones. I think they do, they're pretty bad. One of the unique things about this game is the jumping, you had to use your D-pad to jump. And because the D-pad sucks, it's even more difficult to play. So see how I jumped just then? I didn't mean it. I just wanted to turn around, but the D-pad sucks so bad. The speed is off on this game. It's like Mario Brothers on crack. In this game, you're Terminator trying to collect eggs. I have no idea what is going on here. This is Kung Fu. This isn't Spartan X. Oh. 
So, would I recommend the G5 game player? No. Don't do it. It's $7, but it's not worth it. It's full of some good games, mostly bad games. Some of the games are just copies with a different name. Kung Fu, for instance, is renamed something else. Some copies, some really bad games. It's just not good. The bad controls, if you see it, ignore it. It may look good in pictures, but that's about it. And that's all I have to say about the G5 game player. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye. Why not?